welcome to lvcl today topic is debugging tools generally the debugging tools may encounter two general type of software bugs the first one is prevent the program from running that is i have a some i have placed some operators in the va or lab coding but they don't at all defined with the proper inputs or a particular constant or whatever it is so they they have a some broken arrow uh, they are not allow, allowing the particular VA to run. And the second case is produce the bad result or incorrect behavior. The VA is executing, but it is not expect, uh, it is not an expected one or a desired one. So that, these are the things are very important uh, in the point of uh, debugging one particular VA coding. Okay. And uh, the today topic is going to cover how the debugging tools are very essential thing in the point of LED preparation. The first one is fixing broken VA. It is uh, defining the first case what I mentioned there. That is uh, prevent the program from running. I have created a coding but they are not supposed to run. So the first question is which method is most appropriate for debugging a broken wire. So let us go with the hands on with the lab view and we can find out how we can identify the answer for this. So this is only the question I have given. Uh, it is not at all having any broken wires. Here some wires are having some broken error. You can easily find out the error by clicking on the broken arrow. So it is not allowing your particular VA. It is a broken VA. So by clicking on it, we can able to identify this wire connects more than one data source. So it will uh, easily identify the problem is here alone. But actually, when we have a more number of error sources, like I'm having a, some add operator, I'm having a one multiply operator. So when you look on this broken arrow, that error list, there are so many error sources are present. Presently, uh, and also we, we, we could not able to find out what problem on particular wire or which source is where it is. So that problem is very, very, very difficult to you. So for that case, to avoid such cases, you just go to the particular wire, that broken wire, then it will tell the wire contains more than one data source. It is only the actual problem in the particular wire. That's why the wire is broken. Okay. To avoid such a case, just click on the particular wire and delete it and press Ctrl P. P for ball okay then you can able to get the error is removed so now we can able to minimize the another errors multiply contains unwired bad terminal yes they are not at all wired and uh, add also not at all wired so that's the reason so he we need some we need to connect some two inputs for that case so likewise we can have uh, by doing the create all control and indicator the one error is minimized i think that also we can check it yes add up uh, error is removed now we can have another thing that is all controls and indicators so now the broken arrow is simply removed so i don't want to run this code as per the question so it's a simple thing as i mentioned so you go to the particular wire there is a red x will be present then you find the actual thing good example and also if you want to debug your code whether it is working perfectly or not this code this source alone or this code alone is having some error but this code is not at all having any problem how could how could i verify this result simple right click on the block diagram go to the structure palette then you go to the diagram disable structure and you put this code inside of it then now there is no broken arrow simply i can run it right simply i can run it by doing the continuous uh, run so i can able to verify the result of correct one also this is a simple way of debugging in your code likewise if it is a independent data that is that output of this code is not going to be input of this particular code means you can use the, this type of procedure 
that is disabled case structure you can able to introduce it right so let us move on to the next question uh, that question and option yes which method is most appropriate for debugging the broken wire i will show the option place a probe before after broken wire mouse over red x and read the dip strip and use the bro remove broken wires menu single step through ve at the location broken wire so only the actual thing option is mouse over the red x and find the uh, source of this error how could i verify that result how could i very uh, remove that uh, particular error okay simple thing thank you all subscribe our channel you can able to follow us in uh, youtube as well as facebook and uh, instagram also all the best thank you